ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Alright, we need to have a conversation because, fellas, why are you giving away your hard earned money to a bunch of skanks that don't care nothing about you? Let's get into this topic, alright? What is up, guys? It's your boy Hercules and. I hate to be doing a video like this because uh, it's pathetic just seeing how bad some people get, specifically men. And I don't even know if you can call them men, but I'm assuming they're adults, so we, that's technically the term we're supposed to use. But when it comes to females, look, am I the best at getting females? No. Am I the best looking guy out there? No. Because guess what? There's always somebody better than you. There's somebody always better looking than you. But you always got to be very confident. And I'm always a very confident person. I know how to pick and choose. And, you know, when it comes to females, it all depends. There's females that like only black guys. There's females that only like Asians, Mexicans, brown, whatever. They all got types. And fellas, you also have types. So it doesn't matter, right? Now, when it comes to men, we usually don't judge a little too much. We, we don't mind dating a big girl. We don't mind dating a really skinny girl. We don't mind dating a, a girl that has a big, big boobs, big ass, or anything like that, right? We also don't mind if a female has a high body count, but that all depends on the type of man you are and what you're looking for, what you're comfortable with. So why is it when it comes to females online, we have a bunch of men giving their money to these female eat thoughts, Twitch girls, only fan girls, porn stars, why is it that we're having men give their money away? Because at the end of the day, as much as you can, you want to blame the female, it's not her fault. Because why? Think about this. She's taking an opportunity of making money by taking advantage of these men. And that's not right. But at the same time, if I was given that option where females wanted to just see a bunch of men, I don't know if I would be raking in what Emeril raked in, which was, I believe, like $46 million after the after OnlyFans took their pay cut. But I'm pretty sure after the IRS, she's probably walking away with maybe $20 million. That's still $20 fucking million dollars from a bunch of dudes. That probably don't have confidence, have never talked to a woman, and they feel more confident doing it through a keyboard. Look, fellas, <clears throat> you need to figure something out. Either go to the gym. If you have a sister, hang out with your sister. I'm not saying hook up with your sister, guys. I'm saying hang out with your sister. Hang out with her friends. Start getting comfortable being around girls. If that's your problem, if you're not confident to talk to other women, well, start with women in your family. Start getting used to talking to women. And if you're very comfortable talking to your family <clears throat> and your sisters and your mother and your cousins and stuff like that, then you take that same approach, that same confidence that you have talking with your f relatives, I guess you can say, or maybe your female friends. And it's the exact same thing when it comes to other females. Now, when you're going in and you're talking to females, you best believe the hottest guy, the hottest female, they've all been rejected at some point. So do not let rejection stop you. 
If that one didn't work out, you move to the next one. I'm tired of seeing fellas throw away their money at these females that they don't care. You think those messages you're sending to Amara are actually Amara answering you? They're not, fellas. They're not. Stop giving your money away. You've worked so hard and you're just giving it away. And look, this might fall on deaf ears, and that's totally fine. But at the end of the day, there are people out there that want to help you, that are making fun of you. But at the end of the day, look, we might think it's hilarious because at the same time, if the shoe fit the other person, like I said, if females were so down bad like that, I think I'd probably be doing... Freaking only guys or whatever it's called where it's guys selling their shit for females. But it's not because that market is not easy for men. You have to be top 0.1, right? <clears throat> when it comes to these females, it's a little bit easier. But you also have to be in a very small top 1%, right? So if you don't know, Amaral... Made supposedly around like 57 million. I believe after OnlyFans, she's gonna get like 46. So after IRS, she's probably gonna walk away maybe 20 million. And all this came from a bunch of fans, bunch of simps out there that are giving her giving her their hard earned money because they f they don't know how to talk to females and they feel very comfortable talking to her through this website, which is OnlyFans. Um, and I believe they said something about her biggest money draw was messaging through OnlyFans, which if you don't know, it's probably a bunch of Indian guys texting you. It's not her. It will never be her. It's a bunch of guys, maybe a bunch of females too, that are texting you pretending to be her. Now, like I said, I don't blame the female. I do blame a little bit, but it's not just 100% her fault. She's taking advantage of this. And at the same time, if I had that opportunity, I think I would too. But man, uh, it, it's sad seeing the way uh, this generation is. And, and I don't want to just say this generation because I'm pretty sure there's a Generation X, Generation Z. There's a... Uh, uh, the boomers, there's a lot of people from all generations that are probably giving her money. But at the end of the day, I, I'm pretty sure there's a big spike in this new generation. And it's, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's sad to see this, but uh, I don't think OnlyFans is going to go anywhere. And I don't think females are going to stop taking advantage because at the end of the day, you have to be that 1% of female that either you have a following or you gain a following some way, somehow, or you're just willing to put yourself out there. Um, as far as I know, Emma, Emma, I'd never heard of her, never knew nothing about her. I think the last time that I heard something about her was that she was supposedly getting abused by her husband and he was forcing her to do this. Yet when you really look at what she does, there's no way her husband was forcing her. She lied. She got a bunch of simps, a bunch of people to feel bad for her, and she took advantage of that. What is she doing now? You would think after your husband left or after you both fixed it that you would stop doing what you were doing, right? No, she's still at it again. So, look, that's a little rant. Uh, I, I feel bad for a bunch of men that they don't have that confidence, but at the end of the day, Man, man, I was going to say something, but no, nah, it's, it's a little too rough. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the